full-time whistle here. Russian! Well, I have it. Yes! Come on! Come on! That's a victory! Come on! Get in! Get in. Huge, huge victory that is. Um, look, I've said before, I do think Plymouth obviously aren't where I, where many people thought they would be at the start of the season, but nevertheless, they are where they are. Um, that was a big, big, big victory, and I think a combination of many different factors were decided in the game. I think the opening 15 minutes when we scored two goals, I think in the first 15 minutes by Dan Neal and Nathan Broadhead, that was massive. That obviously gave us something to protect. Um, and in the first half, I actually did think when Plymouth did go forward, to be fair, even though I didn't feel it at the time because I was stressful, that we were defending relatively comfortably. Um, we, we managed to win the second balls, win the headers, get the ball out when we needed to. It's just basic game management for me. Second half, the only uh, the only criticism, obviously, is that we didn't keep a clean sheet. And as everyone knows, I'm probably being hypercritical there, where there was a couple of, co a couple of times with, with corners Plymouth had that we were a little bullied a little bit too easily for me. But regardless, afterwards, I think we did, we did actually defend fairly well. Every, almost every time Plymouth got into the box, we defended well. We were first to the second balls, if not the first balls. And I think as well, obviously there was a couple of chances Plymouth had that they should have done better with. But regardless, you've, got to, you've, you've just got to ride your luck sometimes. That was always going to be a game that was going to be very, very nerve wracking. It was going to be a game that was going to be very edgy, probably decided by one or at most two balls. And we had to battle through that. And actually one of the things, and I'm going to say this, and because it sounds like bit because one, again, I hate talking about the referees, but that was one of the worst referees I've ever seen. And again, I've seen a lot of awful officials in League One. And it's not just for, against, it's not just against us. There was a couple of times we got free kicks, and there was one occasion where I think we got a goal kick pretty much right at the end of the game when that was blatantly a corner for me. So I don't know how the official didn't see that, or the referee, or even the even the linesman. But regardless, it's. The officials are just dreadful. They really, really are. And I think a lot of them are determined to try and make the game about themselves almost every time they come up here. I think I've counted at least probably a dozen occasions since we've dropped into League One where the referee's been determined to make it about themselves. Um, and actually, in a way, because of how bad the referee was, um, any Plymouth fans, if you, as, long as, you dis as long as you're respectful, if you want to disagree with me, that's about more than fair enough. But um, I think that the, the because of the official and the way that everyone was getting frustrated, that united the crowd in my opinion. That really got the crowd behind the players. And as much as I, I'm one to defend our fans, I think a couple of times the atmosphere has been a bit flat at home recently. I think today it wasn't. I don't think anyone could argue that the atmosphere today was awful because it wasn't. We really got behind the boys. We kept singing, shouting. My voice is literally gone, as you can probably tell. Towards the end, we were shouting and giving everything during the game. And at that point, I was shouting around me. No, this is. I, I always criticize. I always say the players have got to get the crowd up for it. And I do think to an extent that's true. But in situations like that, when you're leading 2-1, going into the later stage of the game, that's when the that's when the crew needed, where the, the crowd is needed. That's when the, when the players need us. And to be fair, I think we did get them over the line today. And the players battled for it, as I said. I looked at the two goals. Obviously, the first goal was a very well-worked corner. Um, good, good training routine that probably will only work once. But you know, you have to try it. I didn't, I didn't, ex and that's kind of in some ways why I prefer. Uh, some ways why I don't mind short corners as long as you execute them well enough. Then, post, then you know, fair enough. But because, and then the second goal, Diakio, I think, did quite well. Who has, who has been better in recent, who has been better in recent games. To be fair to the lad, um, you know, and he put a good ball in, and it was a tidy finish from Broadhead at the back post. Um, what more can I say? It was a big victory. It was a. It was a big. It was a big victory. Come on, fans, being <laughs> exactly. There you go. That just says it. Obviously, look. I've said it before. Whether you're Johnson in or Johnson out, everybody wants the same thing. Everybody wants to get promoted. We all know that. For me, I'm Johnson in because I think we're too. We've, we've, got, we've had a raft of injuries, and we have. It's not an excuse. It's fact. We have had a raft of injuries, and we we're at two points per game again. Anyway, guys, I love you and leave you. Like, comment, subscribe if you wish to, because my arm is absolutely killing. The good thing now is we haven't got a midweek game now before Ipswich. Get a chance, a couple of days to recover, properly rest, and then we'll go again next week. Love you all lots, and, and again to everyone who turned up today, well done. And well done to Rook Report, by the way, for the fundraiser that they're doing for the Sun Community Soup Kitchen. Go over on Twitter, on the Twitter space, and support them. Really well, really good bunch of lads, and really great cause that they're doing. And credit the Sun Community Soup Kitchen in general. I think they've raised over 40,000 last time I checked. So, regardless, and thanks for asking me to be a part of it. Privilege to see something in us. So, love you and leave you there. Take care. How are the lads? And on Ape Switch.